Welcome back to another Joy Toy figure review. In this review, we're going to look at the new Delta Force set. This is actually also labeled as first SFOD D set for the Armed Forces line. This is the packaging. Very nice window box. Very nice artwork here on of the three characters. We have some Chinese on the bottom left here and that first SFO-D here on the bottom. Top of the box has Joy Toy, warning for choking hazard, and 15 years and up are recommended for this set. The bottom has armed forces on it. Product information. UPC. The warnings here. Side of the box has armed forces on it. Very nice packaging. This side has a some Chinese. Back of the box shows all the accessories you get. Displayed nicely in the window box. As you can see, this set comes with three alternate heads. A very cool weapons box. Now it should be noted that like a lot of the collectors I've noticed in the Joy Toy community have been buying two sets of these. Why you may ask is because of that extra set of heads. If you buy two sets, you get six individual characters by swapping out the head. Anything else you would like to swap out because you can take off the vest, the thigh pads, swap out parts to make all kind of characters. So I have also, if you stay till the end of this video, have purchased two sets. And I'll show you what the alternate heads look like. And we'll take a look at some issues if there is any. So let's get started. Um, so I did notice what's new to this is they are now actually using tape on the side of the packages. This is definitely new to this current sets, most relative sets now. So... But it, the good news is that's the only piece of tape they're using as of yet. So this is basically slide out. And the, that artwork on there is just incredible. Now if you were mitten a pack, making a box collectors, you'll definitely love these. I don't know why you'd want to have these mitt in a box, but what's nice about it is you can take them out and put them back in for display purposes. Very nice, nicely done. So they're basically like in the clamshell like this. And all you have to do is basically just separate the two pieces like so. So you have the three characters here. And then on the black piece, you have your accessories. We will take it. And then you get a product insert, obviously. One side shows a breakdown of the parts. This is the front, and this side shows the three characters all geared up, and the characters geared down with the, all the accessories you get. So there's no tape, no zip ties, no rubber bands. You just basically have to put the top off, and you've got your access to your figures. And here's figure number one. Very cool. This is one with the black beard, sunglasses, a ball cap um, pointing backwards. One of, this is actually a repainted head sculpt. It's been used before in the other US Armed Forces sets, but it's painted differently so you can get it. could be used as a different character because it's not the same colors. They have these nice green vest. He has a phone here, some pads. The belts fit so much better than I've seen in the past. They have some elbows, um, or pads. They have the American flags on their arms. They have a carabiner here, a belt. They have thigh pads. It's nice about these on forces sets. The thigh pads ain't huge like the PLA sets. They're actually smaller. 
have gun holsters here, knee pads there. Back of the vest, are, we have some patches, um, pouches, I should say, that are mounted onto his tactical vest. He does have some pouches on his belt. The vest seems that they're thinner, slimmer, not as bulky. Makes them really nice. That's definitely a plus for this. Let's take a 360 look at this figure real quick. So watch. Take a look at the articulation. The head is on a ball joint. We'll go 360. Down and up. Now this character does not have his neck scarf on. He has a big neck, neck scarf. The other two have small ones. which I'll show you those and we'll get to the accessories. But with this scarf on they do hinder the articulation of the neck. Arms are on a ball joint. They will go 360 all the way around. Both arms do the same thing. They rise up. Bendable elbows. The hands turn 360. All the way around. Also this hand goes down. And up. 360 there. Just to show you. This hand goes. In and out. There's the out. And let's see here. These are new figures. Go in. There is chest articulation, which you can't use with the vest on. There is an ab crunch. It has a waist swivel. And what's super cool is that these bad boys sit perfectly. Look at that. Go ahead, Joy Toy. Oh. Whoa! As you can see, the neck is two pieces. But you probably know that if you're a George Ray collector. Pops right back in, no problem. There's thigh swivels here and here. If you wish, three figures all the way around, they do a split. Like so. They have double jointed knees. Get that. Very nice. Nice, nice. Feet pivot down and they have toe articulation up. Both feet. <clears throat> and they have two holes in the bottom of the feet. If you want to display them on the stand or in those really cool display cases that they do not come with, which you can buy separately. So there's the articulation for that figure. All articulation is the same for all three figures, so we're not going through it for each one. There we go, we get that back into focus. This is my favorite out of the three set. Out of three figures out of the set. Very cool. Here's figure two. Very nice looking head. This is a brand new head sculpt. Have not been used before. He has a knife here on his chest. It pulls out. The blade is silver. He has the flags on his arms also. He has a mic here on his head. The ball cap backwards. And what's so cool, look on the back of that hat, American flag, the first figure doesn't have that. That's awesome. It's a belt, Caribbean on the back. He has his gun holster there. Looking good. Same articulation as the first one. He has a small neck scarf here. Take a look at 360. So my only pet peeve 
with this figure is a backpack. It's cool. It works. It looks good. But I wish they would have used the PLA backpacks painted in this green. Because this backpack is connected permanently to this vest. You can't remove it. I wish I could just take it off and have the vest on the figure. That's the only thing I have. But that's, that's minor. It's still an amazing figure. Detail on the backpack looks good. He has a clip here. That you can hang extra weapons. This is a reuse accessory from other sets. But looks good. Okay, here's figure three. This is also a new head sculpt. To me, it kind of looks like an Afghan character. It's like a bandana on his head. He has a different vest. He has this flop down here on a crotch. American flags there on his arms, which is looking good. Radio here on the back, a pouch. Flag watch, looking real good. This is kind of the two new head sculpts in this set that we haven't seen before. Very cool. So for the accessories, take a look. First off, as we have this scarf, the one that's missing from the first character, this one. This thing is a pain. So this is the second dislike I have of this amazing set that I wanted so bad. I'm cool with it. I'm not planning on using the scarf too much anyway, but getting that in there, it just doesn't work out for me very well. It doesn't seem to fit. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it and waste you guys' time, my time. I don't like this scarf. It just doesn't seem to work with this head sculpt very well. But it's done in a brown. Um, product shot shows it on the figure, so I guess somehow, some way it goes on, but it's not very easy. Okay, let's see what else we got here. So, like I said, it does come with three alternate heads. This is the first one. This is a repaint from the Marine, um, Navy SEAL set. Looks great in that color. And here is a second alternate head you get. And this is from the repaint from the Marines, I believe. Set. Nice trooper head. Can't get the last heads out of the package here. And here it is. This is also a repaint. This one has been used in multiple different sets. So it's in multiple various sets as you've seen any on forces and I think that single set that came out too. Like I said, I picked up an extra set of these. And we will take a look at those here after I finish looking at the accessories. Also in this set, you do get some new accessories. And this is one of them. This is an opening laptop. Military grade. So let's shut that for a second. 
You have some vents here on the bottom or some little pegs for this to sit down. You have a handle. It folds up. It is on the hinge. You have to worry about that stressing the plastic because it's on the hinge and not a plastic, like a Hasbro product. Fortunately, that is not painted on. That is a sticker. But still, a very welcome new accessory. One of a couple new accessories in this set. Love that part. Okay, let's take a look at the new, not new. I think they're new, but they're weapons. Here is their first assault rifle you get. These are painted very nicely. Black and with the tan, the darker tan. This one has a grenade launcher on it. Scope. Very nice. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna dump these out because it's being a pain here. So we have the next assault rifle. They're looking amazing. I love these guns. These guns look great. I love the American weapons. And these sets are cool. It just has the previous one I just showed you. Look how awesome those are. Nice and so nice. Here is the third assault rifle. Very cool. Just to show you comparisons of the other two I just showed you. Man, these things are beautiful. Man, it's so cool. Okay, and then you get a fourth weapon, which is a Barrett sniper rifle. Nicely painted to match the other weapons. Okay, so here is one of the flaws that I have for this set. You probably see it flopping. Normally, you have to fight to get these bipods on because it's so tight. They got this one in here. It does not fit. Look at that. See that moving around? It does not stay where you want it. It just flops around. You might not think that's a problem, but here's the problem. It does not stand. Why does it not stand? It's because if this was a standing position in my hand, you see that? It rocks. So when you stick... You set the gun down, it tilts to the side, falls over because of this. See that? Or it kicks out on us. All of the joy toys snap rifle stand perfectly because it's a tight fit. This is entirely just too loose. So that's definitely not a good thing for this set. Okay. So lastly, my favorite piece, if I had to sacrifice the display cases that come with the other sets, I'd do it for this, not the shields, definitely this. This is a weapons box. These are so cool. The quality of plastic they use for this is absolutely amazing. They have one handle here. There's no usually a sticker here that's not here on the on the army ones. I would have a thousand of these if they had a army builder pack. But inside you get a bunch of gear right out of the box. I'm gonna dump that out for us. Here's what it looks like inside. Very nice. Okay. So here's one of the new other new accessories, binoculars. Painted in a tan. Very nice. Very cool. Or they painted the front black, but I can live with it. I love this. Nice welcome set. Okay, they come with one axe, which can go in that backpack of that character here. But they have it it's like that so 
That's and should have been up and down instead of across like that. But it's a silver head with a black handle. It also comes with here is kind of a a pet peeve of mine too, I guess what it said. It comes with three pistols. Here's two of them. The same that you would normally would see. But for some reason they decided to give you one alternate pistol. Why that bothers me, I don't know. But I would like to have all three the same pistols. But they give you one different one and two of these. Don't know why it bothers me. It does. Okay, move on. Okay, then on anything else in there, you, you get some hands. You get fist hands. So you get two. You get two more. So it looks like you get a total of six fisted hands for your characters. So you get six of those. And you get some placement joints, which you get a set of knee joints. You get a set of shoulder joints. You get a set of elbow joints. And you get a set of Ankle joints. Okay, so what's cool I want to show you guys is how accurate these can be for posability for these binoculars. So this is a new set. I love this. You can get. I probably should have used the first guy because I've actually have not heated those ones yet. Um, so heat it out of the package. Watch out for the wrist. These seem to be the ones that are, have the stuck joints the most. But take it when you do your inspection of your fingers, the wrist here on the good 360 part, it, not the not an actuation like this. It is kind of stuck. But look at that. That is awesome, right? How cool is that? Looking good. They all, all of the figures can get that posability and that kind of display position, if you like. Now, like I said, I went ahead and bought a extra set of these because I wanted to have a team of six. So this is the figures out of the other set that I have swapped the heads out on. So it's this character with the alternate head on it. Now, of course you can choose what body you want with with head, but that is what you get. And that's what that looks like. You swap out the heads. That's good. Okay, figure two with the alternate head on. I've chosen this figure for this set. This head sculpt for this figure to make this new figure. And if you want to see what the, the one that comes in a package like this, I have given that body that head. Now, let's talk about the head issues. So this is a third figure. If you notice, I haven't put that head on yet. The reason I haven't done that is I want to show you guys something. See how easy that popped off? Nice, right? Here's a problem with these. Look at the holes. That hole is so close right there. That is deeper down inside. Really a pain. That hole is smaller than that hole. And then also, when you put on the three alternate heads, these three here, 
because the way they they are made in the deeper holes, you cannot use the scars with them. It just doesn't work. So these will have to be scarf scarfless figures. So I am going to try to do this on camera because it took me a little bit to get those two heads on. Let's take off the scarf, and I'll give you an idea here. But you do have to. Basically, what you're going to have to do is heat this ball, this ball joint here, and squish it into that hole, and hopefully it reforms to a different um, size. So, you know what? I'm just going to leave it on here. I'm going to heat it with a hair dryer. I want to move my part so it doesn't blow. I try to heat both parts up and also try to heat that a little more than I normally would because that's really tough. That's scary. This is the scary part of this. See, I can't, I mean, I pushed so hard I couldn't even get it in. It's just not enough. Look at that. The problem with this is Joy Toy. They, some, not even just Joy Toy. Some of these companies just pick out random parts. They don't check and see how they fit. Ah, you may have to actually really heat that up. That actually hurts. You gotta try to get that ball joint as soft as you can and I'm having a very difficult time right now so we may have to do this later but I wanted to give you guys an idea I didn't have this much trouble with the other ones okay I actually think I might have got it now once it pops in like that and it gets stuck again you have to reheat it to release the joint again Just be careful, I man. You gotta put that on high to get this to work because of this. Oh, is that stuck? Oh, there we go. Yeah, so this is this is one of the uh, I love this set, but this is one of the things I did not want to have to go through. See the heads on that's actually in there. I have to let that cool a little bit before I can reheat it. And I'll work on the ability to turn, turn the heads like I do these. I said I can turn the heads on these guys. But it took me almost like 20 minutes to get that to work that way. So if you get it really hot, give it a chance to cool down before you do it again. But for example, with these scarves. They, they don't fit because how deep that hole is. You can't get that to fit. See that? So they have to go scarfless. Alright. So I will work on that for my own personal preference there. But that's what you have to do to go through that. So here's the three figures. That are the alternate heads. And then here is the figures from the, the way they come. This one. All right. Okay. <laughs> figures out straight out of the package I haven't messed with them at all just trying to stand up real quick for you guys to see them all together I 
There they are. So that's how they, look, how they would look if you bought two sets. And for comparison, just for fun, here they are with Hired Toys Predators. If you want this Armed Forces team to hunt down your Predators, there you go. You got a six man team to do it. Um, highly recommend this set. This set goes over from $69.99 to $79.99. Um, something to come widely available. Um, hope this video shows you how what you have to go through. Some of the, the cons, more pros and cons. If you love army figures, you love Joe's. This is a set to get. Get this set; it's worth it. Get you set up in, in working manner. You'll be good to go. Um, so, I wish you guys happy hunting. If you're looking for this set, if you like this video, do me a big favor, subscribe. I really appreciate it. And as always, thank you for watching.